गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रॉम द माउंटेन्स पार्ट ऑफ द मूवी जवानी दीवानी विद शॉर्ट और प्रीडी फ्लावर्स यहाँ की आबो हवा से यहाँ के मंदिरों से पास लगा था आई सी वॉटर इट्स डिफिकल्ट फॉर मी टू रिजिस्ट इट्स ब्यूटिफुल अब देर super beautiful gorgeous morning here i just arrived in the morning and uh, it took me about 2 uh, hours on way to kullu from here green blue all shades of nature So we stopped at Shoja. So this is a tiny, small uh, village, I shall say, on way to Jalodi Pass, where I'm headed right now for my vlog of the day. So this place is a thick jungle, and uh, this is one of the highest places uh, as far as altitude is concerned. यहाँ बिल्कुल खामोशी है. You will not see um, many people around. बहुत ज्यादा शोर नहीं है एंड एट द मोमेंट आई एम ब्रीदिंग द फ्रेशेस्ट ऑफ ऑक्सीजन सो देर इज द बेस्ट पार्ट सो वी आर एट जलोड़ी पास द हाइएस्ट पास इन दिस वैली So for now we have just stopped for breakfast. Khadi mein baje hai 10:30 and since I've been traveling since last night I didn't have anything so it's a good stop over for breakfast. Mujhe dekh ke thoda dar rahi hai. But I'm going to try play with them. Okay. Like a true pahadi, I should have uh, taken up a hike, but I did not since I don't have much time. I have to go to my stay uh, place of stay, so I have hired uh, this horse, and it's called. What's the name of it, Abhi? Lalu. Lalu. Lalu, do you feel like that? Going to see the spot where parts of the movie Jawani Diwani were shot, Ranbir and Deepika's movie. And so they, if you remember, if you've seen the movie, they went up hiking, and the view was amazing. I hope so. I get to see the same amazing view. थोड़ी ठंड हो गई है. अच्छा. बादल देख रहे हैं आप. आँख में चोली कर रहे हैं. I hope it doesn't rain. Look at this view. I keep saying this again and again. Yeah. But mountains make me so damn happy. I am so happy to be back to them and enjoying my horse ride for the first time probably in the past few years. Behind me are the snow-laden peaks. It's called uh, Lumbri uh, Peaks. Here, there is a trek, which obviously I don't have the time to take right now, but I'm sure it must be amazing. 
and still you can see uh, i cannot zoom right now but the mountains are loaded with snow and it's a beautiful sight guys have been to jalori pass in gb before and didn't know of this place so this is right next to the temple in jalori and you just have to climb a little bit oh it started raining so you can have a good picnic here badminton bhi khel sakte hain aap which i don't have right now and nothing is comparable to the view that is in front of me right now What can I say? You have to be here to experience it. I don't know if my camera can do justice to this place, but I wish I had some more time to sit here. I wish थोड़ा सा और time होता, so that I could absorb the good vibes of this place. Nonetheless, so far, so good, and I'm happy. I chose to come here. Time to head to Khanag before it gets too rainy. Such cow, I don't feel like going back somehow. But then, at the end of the day, you have to. Bye. <laughs> It's beautiful up there. I'm a water baby, so whenever I see water, it's difficult for me to resist. A lot of time I have resisted, but today is my first time. I want to sit by the riverside for a while. Come. This person who loved this place, this region so immensely. This is about her strong connection with the place. I am talking about this lesser known writer from England, Penelope Hester Chetwood, and her strange, or rather, I would say, strong connection with the Kullu Valley. So while I was working as a reporter with Hindustan Times in Shimla quite a few years ago, I happened to do the story on her. For that, let's take this small dose of history. Penelope Chetwood, before turning into a writer, came to India in 1928. She was the daughter of the then Commander in Chief of India, Sir Philip Morehouse Chetwood. Her first trip to the Kullu Valley was in 1931 with her mother. So in 1963, she returned back to India to, you know, refuel her love for the forests here, and uh, she took a two mules and her set of friends. and uh, went up to the forests in narkanda via fagu in shimla she went on mules and covered these thick trails in the forests 
सो बेसिकली ये कहा जा सकता है कि पेनीलोपी को पहाड़ों से बेहद प्यार हो गया था स्पेशली यहाँ की आबो हवा से यहाँ के मंदिरों से खास लगाव था और यही रीजन था कि वो साल दर साल यहाँ लौटती रही सो वन डे इन नाइनटीन एटी सिक्स टू विजिट दिस टेम्पल नियर खनाग वो बैठी वहाँ पर और अपना सर टेका मंदिर की दीवार से एंड शी बिट गुड बाय टू लाइफ फॉर एवर लेकिन उनकी आखिरी इच्छा भी यही थी कि अगर उनकी मौत इन पहाड़ों में हो जाए तो उन्हें यही यहाँ के रीति रिवाज के साथ उनका अंतिम संस्कार किया जाए सो अ फ्यूनरल टू प्लेस हेयर हर एशेज वज कैटर्ड इन द रिवर ब्यास Penelope's uh, granddaughter came here that very year the year of her death and uh, she built this tombstone and she even wrote a book titled my grandmother's footsteps so this is in a memory ek cheez common hai it, it reminds me that you know her immense connection and her strong love for uh, kullu valley this is what i equally feel when mountains coming back to them it, it's it's always a pleasure aap jaise I mean, जब भी आप यहाँ से लौटते हैं तो ऐसा लगता है कि जैसे आप अपना एक हिस्सा यहाँ छोड़ कर जाते हैं तो आई थिंक पेनिलोपी ऑल्सो यू नो लेफ्ट पार्ट ऑफ हर एवरी टाइम शी वेंट बैक टू इंग्लैंड एंड आई सम हाउ फील माई सेल्फ मोर ड्रॉन क्लोजर टू दिस आइडिया ऑफ कमिंग बैक टू द माउंटेन्स और इवन यू नो गोइंग बैक टू दैम फॉर एवर